In this example we will use a push button to turn the LED on and off. When the button is pushed the LED should be on, when the button is not pushed the LED should be off. So let's start from the top and go through the code line by line. On the top here we have two constants defined. Button pin and LED pin. These are similar to variables except that they cannot be changed later in the code. The button pin defines which pin the button is connected to, which is number 7. And the LED pin defines which pin the LED is connected to, which is number 13. Next we have a variable called button state. We will use this variable for reading the push button state. Okay, let's look at our setup function. In the setup function we want to set the LED pin as output so that we can turn the LED on and off. And we want the button pin as input so that we can read the state of the button to see if it's pushed or not. So LED pin is output and button pin is defined as input. So let's go to the loop function. In the first line of code a new function is introduced. The digital read function. This function reads the state of a pin and will return either high or low. Since we write button stage since we write button state equals digital read, the return value from this function will be stored in the button state. So now we need to check the value of the button state to decide if we want to turn the LED on or off. For this we use an if-then-else statement. The if-then-else works in the following way. If whatever is between these parentheses equals true, then do this. Else, do this. So it's uh, really simple. And this translates to if the button state equals high then we'll turn the LED on. Otherwise we will turn the LED off. And since, thi since this is within the loop function it will keep checking until you turn off the power. And therefore when you push the button the LED will turn on and when you release the button, the LED will turn off. 